we head into the game. It is the NWL, the winner's final. These players have managed to cut through their competition. Yumiko, in fact, cutting through them without dropping a single map to get, to get uh, all the way through the upper bracket. And now meeting in the winner's final, uh, Lol Lyad. So we have the storyline, China versus Korea. Maybe the two strongest players in their countries, respectively. And look at this. Yumiko, this altar is very late. Check it out. Comparison. And this is a fake Archmage. I'm pretty damn sure. Getting it that late doesn't make any sense in my mind. I think this is gonna be a fake AM. He probably thinks that there's gonna be a Warden here, but big surprise! What is this? What is this? It's a Demon Hunter. It's Law Lyot on Echo Isles of all maps with a Demon Hunter. And maybe this is because Reprisal defeated him on Echo Isles, found a brilliant strategy against Night Elf on Echo Isles, against his Warden play. This strategy was run down to the expansion, immediately expand, and then run straight to the Night Elf main base without getting to level 2 or anything. Run over there right away and be aggressive. If the Night Elf defends here, then you create space for your expansion. If he kills the Expo, then you Tower Rush him. Because he's not here to defend, you kill the Moon Wells, you follow up with Towers, with, you kill your main base. And that seemed to work without fail. But Lolliet outsmarting him, maybe, with the Demon Hunter here. And it is the late Archmage. He did not cancel his hero. I guess he scouted with a peasant here and seeing that the creep camp wasn't started yet and seeing the demon hunter he decided not to commit with a neutral hero into a tower play but rather changing it up and going for the archmage fast expansion by the looks of it would love to know their thinking exactly but I imagine that has to be it because there's no apparent reason to get the Archmage that late, you can still get the Archmage right away and immediately expand. So I think his plan was to Tower Rush, but seeing the Demon Hunter, who is of course way better before level 3 compared to the Warden, he decided against it. Sold his TP, by the way. Or did he get stuck? Uh, I'm not sure about that one, unfortunately. Getting the boots and the staff teleportation pointing towards a lot of aggression. There was supposed to be an instant expansion. And I have to question Lolite's movement here. Why did he creep this little green camp? Maybe after his uh, creeping of the mercenary camp, he should have rather gone over here towards the expo to harass this and maybe create some space for his own expansion. But as it stands, his expo got cancelled. Demon Hunter though almost level 3. Of course no boots for him and they are not available for the moment. But they will be cooling down soon. Will he decide to get him? Maybe. He's setting up an Ancient of War here at the expansion. Only a guard, an Arcane Tower, not a Guard Tower. So nothing too much to fear. Archmage still hanging around. Still wants to cancel a possible expansion attempt. But only level 1, man. He is so weak. He's very close to level 2. But what good does that do you when you can't get there? Needs to kill something. Demon Hunter now coming in. This tower with a lot of piercing damage. I don't know if it's gonna survive. Oh, it's gonna be a close one. And we see a we see a pause here from Law Lyot. Maybe having troubles with lag, I'm not sure. Yes, apparently he does have some delay issues. Before this game started, um, Nice Game TV, TV, which is the production for Korea, suggested for there to be a, a test game first, but the players said that uh, that was unnecessary, they don't need it, but right now, seems like the ping is a big issue for the Korean. Immolation is already being pointed out in chat. That could be very disastrous. For the human, there's uh, no towers here up yet, and of course everything very painful, uh, very very low HP I mean, so that could be painful. So yeah, Immolation I think could be a good call here. <laughs> but 
before this match started, by the way, the two players were chatting, kind of in friendly banter fashion already. Lolayet saying, come on Yumiko, give me the three, give me the death win. You can easily defeat the guys in the lower bracket, which are Infi and Focus, by the way. And then Yumiko countered with, no, no, you give me the death win, you can easily beat them. But of course, that was just a little bit of friendly banter. Look at the vision, by the way, here on the minimap for Lolayet. Outside of his main base, uh, a lot of scouting going on. Has perfect information, but of course that's not where the action is uh, taking place right now. Seems like this expansion harassment is a very hard commitment. Ancient of War in production, double trolls here as well as the Demon Hunter and the Archer, obviously. Well! I wonder what they're waiting for. You guys wanna hear uh, stories of my time in jail? Nah man, it's, it's too painful. My memory is still scarred. I will never forget those cold nights. with only my friend Jester in the bunk bed beneath me and you know what it what they say the guy in the top bunk and the guy in the bottom bunk you guys know what I'm talking about we were very close to say the very least if you guys ever saw the show and what was it called again Oz from HBO the prison show pretty much like that What? Bus bauen? What does that mean? I don't get it. I got a deal with the warden though of the prison. I did some taxes for him and I, I, I showed him some loopholes so I got out early and the guards started protecting me against uh, that was basically um, two parts of the prison you know it was divided one was for the males and uh, one was for the for the women alright here we go the game continues we have to start with the prison stories Archmage finally getting level 2 after killing the archer and a nice surround on the berserker that's actually really huge Demon Hunter though, he would be in a perfect position for Immolation, maybe he's saving the skill points still until he's level 3 and level 2 Immolation, if he wants to commit to that, would be huge damage. But of course going into the mid game that is not very beneficial at all, by the way, counter expansion now coming up again. Ancient of War though, is up. Yumi chasing down the priest, another one will, oh nice deny from Lolayet. He is level 3 right now. I don't think it's going to be Immolation, though. But there could have been a good opening for it, I feel. It is very unli unlikely that he's going to crack this expansion, but dealing damage here isn't bad either. Getting a little bit more experience. Oh, Yumiko could cancel this expo. Oh man, that would be huge! He doesn't have the mana for the Water Elemental just yet. The Demon Hunter may have to TP back to burn the Archmage before he has the mana. He cancelled it again. There were no mercenaries available, but it doesn't matter. He cancelled it again, and that's absolutely huge. Lolite committing hard here to this harassment. He does deal damage, but was it enough? Maybe committing too hard into the expansion there with his, um, with his units, with his mercenaries, losing them all very quickly. And now he's in trouble. 
There's no expo for him. And at some point you do need the expansion unless something goes miraculously in your favor. Experience wise he's ahead, yes, but not too much. The tech of course miles and miles ahead, obviously as we're used to seeing in this matchup. And Yubiko really seems to have the answers this game. Oh man, now he's cancelling the lures. He has a staff to get in as well if he decides to do so. He's just gonna run in the old fashioned way. And the Demon Hunter is everything that Lolite has currently. He's buying some mercenaries, but Yumiko buying them as well. It is a hot bonanza at the Merc Camp. Everything's being purchased. Mighty the Mud Golem, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Our mascot has appeared. And Yumiko, man, he is just. He's destroying Lolliot right now. No warden for Lolliot. Seems like with a demon hunter he is a little bit less impressive. And Yumiko. A little bit of an edge and he's pushing it all the way into Lolliot's main. And now he feels he has to somehow relieve this pressure and is going for the Dark Ranger second. This seems like a desperation play. Berserker number two might be falling here. Archmage though is low, has to be careful, but of course the boots of speed, he can be very daring. And this all spiraled out of control from the first uh, cancellation of the tree here, I feel. Why did he creep the green camp? I think he should have gone over right away when finishing the mercenary camp creep. Maybe he could have delayed the human, could have put on some damage, maybe his expo would have come up. Oh man, and now Lolliot in a lot of trouble buying the boots of speed from the marketplace. But he has been delayed by so much. We'll finally be getting the ogre, but chase across the entire map for this. He's tier 2 now, he has the lores finally. But usually he would like to have an expansion up long ago. But there's nothing like that. And Yumiko, tier 2 set up. Sanctum's coming in. In the workshop as well, somewhere I imagine. Uh, not just yet. Blacksmith is here. And he has the resources. And we of course, uh, of course all know what's coming. The tier, uh, the tier 2 70 supply push. 70, 80 supply tier 2 uh, push with casters and mortar teams and maybe even riflemen if he wants to hit it really quickly. But I don't feel that Yumiko really has to hit very quickly because there is no expansion for the Night Elf that he wants to attack before it, you know, gives up too much, uh, too many resources. Pays off too much, I mean. This Mud Golem, by the way, working overtime. Usually they die very quickly, but not in the hands of Yumiko. He is playing this extremely well. And Lolai, it seems like he hasn't quite found his footing yet. Is it because of the ping? Is it because of his sickness? Or is it just because Yumiko is so strong? Maybe a combination of all. Yumiko now in the middle. Getting hashtag Neo shop control. Buys the scroll of protection. Which human was this who bought so many scrolls? I think it was Infi, if I recall correctly really prioritize the scrolls of protection. Using it right here. The water elementals are gone. The dispel is there for the moment. Dryad's not that much mana anymore. Finally level 3 for the Archmage. That is the one thing. This guy is super underleveled. Demon Hunter though has to be careful. Can't afford to lose that one. The Naga now in trouble as well. Still has the invul though and the boots might be getting away. Might be forced to use it however. Is forced to use the invul Demon Hunter still managing to get out of there and there's no expansion Lolliot feeling that it's too late for an expo maybe it's gonna go up to tier 3 bears up into upkeep sit between the two bases try to cut off reinforcements deal damage wherever he can that's something we sometimes see as well from the night elves and see work as well A player 
enemy's forces are under attack. This Dark Ranger pick, of course, very good in the early game, but how good is it gonna be in the later stages? When there's 80 supply, human knocking at the Night Elf door. If he somehow manages to get level 6, of course, that would be amazing, but how likely is that? Rifleman, by the way, right now, of course, a good answer to the mass dryads, as he loses, does not lose the first dryad here. He lost one before, actually. Demon Hunter healed up. In the main base, thanks to the Moonwells, of course. Tier 3 reached. Shop, not quite yet. And no bears. Here comes the Master Training. The mass Rides will also fall off heavily. So I'm definitely fearing Fall All Light. Dryads as well as the Dark Ranger will not be as strong in like 3 minutes from now. And Yumiko continues creeping. He's up at almost 70 supply already. And he did not get a workshop. Very surprising. Huh. Mass Rifleman. 2-0 upgrades as well. Soon. But no mortar teams at all. We have been seeing quite a few more Riflemen than we, than we saw in the past. But usually they are sprinkled in, you know? We have a few mortar teams, a few riflemen, a good mix of both. But now Yumiko completely skipping on the riflemen. Maybe he forgot about the workshop, maybe he thought with the pressure coming in he couldn't afford to get one, I'm not sure. Here comes the creep check now. The camp has been finished, the Naga has hit level 3. She's pretty tanky, finding the, the Parib of Vitality. That's a very good item for her. Retreating backwards, the boots of speed makes her pretty quick. The slow on the demon hunter, he has bought. I think. Oh no, he has found the greater invulnerability. He needs to use it soon. Uses it right now. Going for the naga again. I think he should be able to get the kill unless the TP is being transferred. And he doesn't manage to. He tried to, but he didn't get it. Now maybe the arc mage could be in trouble, but he still has the healing potion and the invul is running out. He has to get out of here. And so many losses for Lolite. Jesus Christ. Every single dryad has fallen. Oh boy, I guess he can replace them with bears now, but uh, never forget about the expansion. Lolite still sitting pretty at 67, very healthy. Did I say Lolite? I mean Yumiko, of course. Lolite is the guy in trouble here, and Yumiko has all the all the cards in his hands right now. He could expand down here, he could attack the base, he could creep the rest of the map. Pretty much whatever he does, he's most likely gonna win. I would like to see him get a TP though, because if he loses both heroes, that could be a way to lose this game. Doesn't do it though. The police are on their way, and this looks like another expansion. He hasn't scouted down here for quite a while, so he thought maybe there was an expansion down here, but no. No such attempt, and Yumiko setting up once more the towers for another expo, but even if it's not an expo, just some uh, reinforcement towers are very strong. Only two bears, how can Lolite hope to accomplish this? Two more are coming in right now, which is better, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. He gets a few pickoffs here, but there's so much human stuff to chew through. Now losing two of the four bears he has. And now only very little army remaining for him. The Berserker up here is going to be falling soon as well. Nicely microed away actually. Trying to go for the hero kills, but the Demon Hunter no more healing. No more TP, no invul, no nothing, and he falls! Level 4 for the Naga, and that has to be it. Yeah, it is. GG. Surprisingly, no Warden being played here. I think Yumiko was surprised by this as well. But it didn't matter, he... Oh my god, is my PC? No. Not shutting down, very good. But even though he was surprised...